I'm Grady Kirkpatrick. This is Morning Music coming up on Morning Music from Sheridan, Native American Music Award winner, great guitarist and leader of the Coyote Brothers, Gary Small in to play guest DJ. We'll get some of his favorites coming up. We'll also spin tunes from the latest Hostiles and Renegades. We'll start with Reservation Town. It's Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers. Town, Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers here on Wyoming Public Radio from the latest Hostels and Renegades. Gary Small in the studio with me this morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, You're Grady. Here. We've been looking forward to this for uh, quite a while now and uh, certainly a pleasure to have you in. 
and certainly uh, no stranger to the Native American Music Awards. You've won at least three, right? I've won three. Uh, okay. Wild Indians, uh, NAMI Songwriter of the Year, 2002. I think I have these right. Uh -huh. uh, two, uh, 2007, Best Rock Recording, Crazy Woman Mountain and Best Male Artist in 2011, and you're up for yet another couple of I, I'm up for the, the top one this year. I'm really humbled about that. It's uh, a Native Artist of the Year, mm -hmm. and then our album uh, Hostiles and Renegades is, is up for, uh, nominated for uh, Best World Music. And the cool thing about the NAMIs is people can vote. <laughs> They can. Not like the Grammys. I don't think the public's allowed to vote on those. I, you know, I think they do now. They have, they have okay. a, a public voting now for, okay. for the Grammy Awards. But for the NAMI Awards, yes, we have public voting. And if all you Wyomingites out there would like to see a international award being brought back to Wyoming, I wish you would get online and, and vote for the Coyote Brothers. What's the website? The, the website is nativeamericanmusicawards.com. Net. No, dot com, excuse me, dot com. Okay. I have troubles with those things. Native American Music Awards dot, dot com. com. Okay, very good. And you can uh, you just stick in your name and your email address, and we are in Categories 2 and Categories 30. Great. Well, we'll get more from the new record, and we're going to hear some of your favorites, too. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, where you grew up. Is it was it in Montana? Well, uh, actually, I was born in Sheridan, and okay. I went uh, <clears throat> to school when I did go to school, I should say, uh, in, in Sheridan, and uh, I summered a lot on the Northern Cheyenne Reservation, which is about 20 minutes from Sheridan, just across mm -hmm. the Montana border. I come from a very large Northern Cheyenne family. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad had uh, nine brothers and three sisters. Wow. And I have, at one time when we were all living, I think I had over 50 first cousins. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so very large. Family, family is very important then. Indeed, indeed. Very cool. And most of them still live on the reservation. Very nice. Well, we'll uh, talk about, it as you were growing up, um, what were some of the, I guess, the musical influences that came your way? Well, you know, I just always had this craving for music, even as as long as I can remember. My mother would uh, <clears throat> allow me to gather up all the, the waste paper baskets in the house, and I would make a makeshift drum set out of right. those. <laughs> and use, I was such a little guy, I was using pencils for drumsticks. Uh -huh. and, and then uh, she bought me a, a toy xylophone, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember... Uh, back in the day when we had like three or four channels uh, of TV mm -hmm. and uh, so you know Bugs Bunny had the coolest music <laughs> and uh, I learned to play oh, Itchy yeah. Sweet uh, there was some great on music there. on oh, some great. of those cartoons was great. and then uh, even I remember before kindergarten I was staying up to watch The Tonight Show oh yeah and uh, of course you know Johnny Carson's band was always the best mm -hmm. and one, I just remember at a very young age this very big rotund black man got on up there with his beautiful black guitar and had the most incredible guitar style i ever saw and i was only five or six mm -hmm. and that was bb king and he's been my mentor ever since as a matter of fact you mentioned that uh, that was one of the first songs that you learned was a bb king tune well when i finally uh <clears throat> got a, an instrument um i think it was probably 10 11 years old uh very first song i learned to play was every day i have the blues and that was uh, the, my first album I ever bought was Live with Regal, B.B. King. Mm -hmm. And um, I still spin that today. That's very cool. Just for reference. Well, we've got, we've got the original. We're going to spin this. Uh, one of Gary Small's big influences is, uh, as a youngster, uh, picking up on the blues from B.B. King. This is Every Day I Have the Blues. <laughs> day i have the blues the great bb king here on wyoming public radio one of gary small's favorites a big influence back in the day oh absolutely you know the bb uh you know not just guitar playing but uh vocals yeah um and uh you know i met bb back in the 80s um and his rapport with the audience what what he did what he does in between songs just as important as, as the plane itself, he's he can just <clears throat> he's like a magnet, just draws people to him. Yeah. So I've always tried to model myself after that, and it, it didn't it didn't come overnight. You, it takes oh, yeah. a while to oh, learn yeah. how to to incorporate an audience into your into your show. You know. Very so. charismatic. I remember an episode of Sanford and Son. I think oh, yeah. he was uh, Esther's old girlfriend. Oh my. Riley King, <laughs> is that you? <laughs> 
Oh, I loved it. I saw it not too long ago either. Uh -huh. I'd forgotten all about it, and I'm spinning through, of course, the old channels. And, oh, yeah. And there it was. Uh, yeah. Fred, uh, anyway. Uh, anyway, great to have you on here. Thank you. And we're going to do another one. Tell us about, uh, this comes from Hostels and Renegades. It's uh, Choke Cherry Wine and Indian Fry Bread. Yeah, well, Choke Cherry Wine and Indian Fry Bread, it's kind of a metaphor for two renegades who get together. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's, it's a lot of Native American connotation, obviously. And uh, the album is primarily a world beat, you know, yeah, there's reggae, Afro-Cuban reggae thing. It's really and cool. And I wanted to break up the album a little bit, uh, throw in some R&B influence into this one. It's uh, obviously influenced by BB, but it's, uh, I really loved Joe Cocker's band back in the day. And mm -hmm. lo and behold, I had... Bobby Torres from Joe Cocker Band in my group mm -hmm. in Portland for a long time. You're, the backing vocals you're going to hear is uh, Pamela Poland, and Pamela is one of the the backing vocals uh, vocalists in uh, Mad Dogs and Englishmen tour for Joe Cocker. Which so. we played last hour. Exactly. And Joe is our neighbor to the south. Lives down in Colorado. It's in a Western small Portland world, isn't State. it? Yeah, we'll get Joe up here one time and. Uh, Maybe Carlos and Gary. And well, that would be chance. good, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we like to dream, don't we? Yes. But uh, we'll do this. All right? We ready? We ready. Okay. Gary Small and Coyote Brothers. This is uh, Chug Cherry Wine and Indian Fry Bread. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Lunchtime, eh? Choke cherry wine and Indian fry bread from Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers, uh, Hostiles and Renegades. And Gary in talking about uh, this particular album, his latest, and some of his influence ahead of the Native American Music Awards. Uh, you attend the ceremonies, right? Uh, I actually performed in 2007. Is that a good time? Oh, it's always a fantastic time. It's in Niagara Falls, for crying out loud. Where oh, you know, yeah. it's, it's beautiful. And we're going this year, too. I'm, I'm waiting for that phone to ring to see if I'm performing this year. Okay. But um, hopefully hopefully we will be. Great, great. What time of year is it? When do they uh, Well, you know, it's usually in November, but the executive director's house got hit by Hurricane Sandy. Yikes. <laughs> so okay. so uh, it got moved to May, May 10th. Okay. So again, you can vote all the way up to May 10th. Okay. That's my and understanding. It's Native American Music Awards dot com. Correct. Vote for Gary Small up for a couple more awards. And again, pretty good keyboards on that one too, we just that heard. That is the infamous Jimmy Lang out of Colorado Springs. So he and I uh, played together back in the early 80s, and we hooked up again, and I said, Jimmy, you got to be on the album, man. That's the Hammond B3 sound I want. So, wow. Very and, cool. Uh, yeah, he comes up, stays with us for two and three weeks at a time. And, uh -huh. and uh, what a great, great guy, great team player. Tell us about the other guys playing in your band, the Coyote Brothers. Well, uh, that's Joby Jennings on bass guitar. Joby's from uh, Sheridan as well. Mm -hmm. uh, he's also in Northern Cheyenne. Uh, his great aunts and my father were forced to go to Indian uh, boarding school back in the 20s. And uh, Dad was the very youngest one to go. He was seven years of age. They stuck oh. him on a train all the way down to Genoa, Nebraska. Never saw his parents for five years. Unbelievable. Those, those girls were older and tough girls. And, and they, they kept all the bullies away from him. So now wow. i got to keep Joby out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It's family payback now. Wow. So. Talk and about then, uh, Jim Willie on drums, another okay. shared native. And uh, so it's great to have that core group right in Sheridan. You know, a lot of times, particularly when I'm doing this world beat music and, mm -hmm. and Afro-Cuban music, uh, there's not a lot of learned musicians in the state because we're so sparse. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I do have to fly in some guys every once in a while to pull off the, the right sound for the right show. Mm -hmm. you know, it depends on what we're doing. Were you part of or influenced much of with any of the Native American ceremonies that with music? Uh, well, back as you were a kid, I'm, you... I'm I'm not as traditional as some. Obviously, mm -hmm. there's 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 uh, members of our tribe that that carry on those traditions. Mm -hmm. My father was never allowed to do those things. Being coming out of boarding school, so wrong. But but you know things have changed in the '60s and '70s, and so I I through other people got to relearn mm -hmm. those. You know, we we go to powwows as often as we can. We we take in different ceremonies when we can. And uh, um, I've learned a lot, you know, and that's what that's, you know, the, the, the beautiful thing about songwriting is it's it's not the it's only 10 percent writing. It's the 90 percent listening mm -hmm. to other people and, and the significant things that they have to say. That's that's the most important. And that makes a great song. You've got a video as well with uh, Hostiles and Renegades, right? Yeah, that's that Benji Headswift on there. Includes uh, Native drums. American dancers. Yes, too, right? yes. That's how we, we perform when we dress. can afford to bring everybody. That yeah. is cool. Indeed. But we're going to play that one in a little bit. But uh, uh, I think we've got another one ready. Bob Marley. Uh, big Bob's, influence. Bob's a big influence, yeah. of course. You know, when, when you're trying to um, um, <clears throat> write about being Native American, and again, it's, it's only Native American to me, my perspective. I don't, I don't go out and say, I'll teach all you white people what Indians think. I don't approach it like that. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is my experience, just like any other songwriter would be. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, you know, I'm a, obviously influenced by the blues, but uh, you know, I never could sing about Native America in, in a blues progression. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you listen to anything of Bob's, Bob's, it's it's indigenous music about Jamaica. 
Mm -hmm. And, you know, the format works so well. And so, obviously, yeah, I picked up on Bob back in the 70s. So I just Well, this is one you and I, uh, when it came out, were well aware of, and it was... Uh, blew me away. I mean, we'd heard about Bob Marley prior to that, and I think here in Clapton's I Shot the Sheriff may have been the first introduction, but then there was so much more beyond that. And then yeah. when you discovered Bob Marley, and when this record came out... It was like a re uh, revelation. Yeah, you know, Eric. Eric's version was more. He funked it up. Oh yeah. You know, I really didn't have that reggae skank to it. And then when you did, when you do finally hear the original version from Bob, you're like, mm -hmm. "Wow, what is this?" We'll do the title track though. This is Exodus. It's Bob Marley and the Whalers on Wyoming Public Radio. Child of the rising sun Hunted down like a mighty buffalo Taken down with no place to go Oh, hostiles and renegades Oh, hostiles and renegades Hostiles and renegades Hostiles and renegades Oh, hostiles and renegades Freedom that rings since the day you were born They tried to take it away at the little big horn Tried to bury your heart down and wounded me I'm blinded by gold, no, 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 they can't see, no. Hostiles and renegades. We're hostiles and renegades. Hostiles and renegades. Oh, girl, so long but the spirit remains. Hostiles and renegades. Oh, hostiles and renegades. Hostiles and renegades. We're hostiles and renegades. Oh,
Hasta se ve que 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 Hostiles and Renegades title song from Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers and a really cool video of that on Gary's website. It's Coyote Bros, B-R-O-S dot net. And so glad to have Gary Small in the studio this morning. Uh, we've been talking about it for a while, but you're here. Thanks for making the trip oh, down to Sheridan. Oh, this is great. I always wanted to come down and see the studio. Yeah. It's the first time I've, I've had the opportunity, so thank you for and having me. You said it's been 30 years since you'd been to Laramie. It's so been 30 has it years. changed? <laughs> it has changed a bit, and so has the highway coming over here. So it was, yeah. it was a beautiful trip down here, though. Oh, good. Very good. That, uh, that counts this time of year. You never know what you're going to get. Indeed. Yep. So... Uh, into springtime here and uh, talking about Gary and his style of uh, guitar playing. Man, and I was I was talking to you a moment ago, uh, one of my favorites is Carlos Santana. I've never heard anybody come close to that style except for you. Oh, thank you for that. And it, it's that. really, uh, uh, tell me, what? Uh, when did you hear Carlos and was that, I, you talked about B.B. King being a big well, influence, but how did you... Uh, or do you remember first hearing Carlos? Oh, I, I, indeed. I remember very vividly. You know, I had a, a great friend of mine. He lived just down the road about a block and a half. His name was Jack Jones, and mm -hmm. Jack lives in Gillette. And uh, he came down. He, he had exquisite taste of music. He came down with the Hendrixes. He came down with the Santanas. He came down with the Claptons. And, you know, all, all the people that are still valid and important today mm -hmm. um so he, he brought those albums down for me and, and i don't know if i ever gave them back to tell you the truth <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man. carlos carlos was a big influence on me because you know come to find out uh later on that he's uh, influenced as much by bb king as i am so uh we have a kind of a parallel guitar players that we like to listen to you know I, I also like to listen to jeff beck i think he's the most phenomenal guitarist and then i was heavily influenced by by the almond brothers all the guitar players in the almond brothers mm -hmm. and uh you know to to another extent the marshall tucker band toy caldwell was another great melodic guitar player so i was always attracted to to those guys george harrison just mm -hmm. phenomenal melodic guitar player i was never really into the eddie van halen school just I mean, I, I, I can certainly understand and appreciate oh, yeah. that style, sure. but it just was never my thing. Mm -hmm. I'm always making myself slow down. <laughs> you know, trying to know you don't need. Is it tempting not to slow down? Oh, yeah, to go fast? Well, guitar players. You know, but oh, yeah. you know, I approach it. Uh, you know, you, you got to. For me, a great guitar sounds like a vocal. You know, and we all have those friends who never shut up. You know what I'm saying? They continually <laughs> talk. They don't even take a breath. You know, and that, that's kind of some guitar players do that. You know, and yeah. not me. No, I'd rather say it in three notes if I can. Very good. Well, we will get to Carlos Santana uh, coming up and more music from Gary Small. Stay with. Supporters include Mountain View Regional Hospital of Casper, welcoming patients from all corners of Wyoming at mountainviewregionalhospital.com. Science Friday coming up in 15 minutes, followed by the BBC Hour. And open spaces this afternoon at 3 o'clock. We'll hear about what Wyoming congressional representatives think about climate change. In advance of the Shepherd Symposium, we'll, uh, we'll learn about what a Laramie school is doing to promote diversity and limit bullying. And in the latest installment of Upstarts, we'll hear about how a Jackson entrepreneur is reinventing the water bottle. All that and more on the award-winning Open Spaces this afternoon at 3 here on Wyoming Public Radio.
Santana Jingo here on Wyoming Public Radio, one of Gary Small's favorites, a big influence, and uh, you have connections to Carlos. You've met him, right? You know, I never met Carlos, oh, but, uh, okay. um, you know, Bobby Torres from Joe Cocker's band, uh, as I was saying earlier, he encouraged me to get a hold of Graham Lear. Uh, Graham was uh, Santana's drummer for a decade, and mm -hmm. we all lived in Portland, Oregon at the time. And uh, let's see how'd it go. Well, I remember calling him on a payphone. That's how many years ago it was. And <laughs> was it just, a dime or a quarter back then? Uh, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I could barely get it in there. I was shaking so bad. Oh man! And he's one of the nicest guys in the world, and we're, we're best friends and have been for for years and years and years now. As a matter of fact, he plays on the title cut. What a percussion group uh, with Carlos. That was uh, fantastic. And, you know, not only that great guitar style, but that percussion really made a big difference. Yeah. And the energy that band brings. Yeah, absolutely. They they came up to uh, uh, the the then percussionist in Santana came up to do a little workshop up in Portland and grab and so here I am with three members of Santana a member of Joe Cocker and, and I'm sitting at the table feeling like a little kid <laughs> you know very cool <laughs> all these all these big guns you know Gary Small in his new record is called Hostiles and Renegades and you can vote in the Native American Music Awards online nativeamericanmusic.com right uh, Native American Music Awards com. okay very good another influence we we're run, kind of running out of time here but uh a little different. Uh, great jazz saxophone player Dexter Gordon. Indeed, Dexter. Dexter is so incredibly. It just reminds me of BB King on guitar. He doesn't he doesn't have to play a million notes. He just works with three or four and and puts a vibrato on some. Plays them just honking on other notes and. He's just such a master in the saxophone, and, and uh, I've listened to Dexter since the 80s. Easy. Mm -hmm. Great and movie on Dexter Gordon, too. Round Midnight. Round Midnight. Yeah, fantastic. Playing live on there, and he's just, you know, it's later on in his life, and he's playing great. Very good. We'll get a little of this and talk and get a little bit more from Gary Small coming up here on Wyoming Public Radio. Dexter Gordon, Ernie's tune, one of the favorites and influences for Gary Small. And again, a pleasure to have you in today, Gary. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. I'm finally glad to come down to, to visit some Laramie folks for a change. Yeah, come on back anytime and uh, we'll keep let folks know when, uh, when and where you're playing in the future. And hopefully get you down here at the University of Wyoming for a show. Well, we'll negotiate we'll while I'm here. That. Yeah, that. yeah, very cool. Well, again, thank you so much, and if you need more information, it's coyotebros, B-R-O-S, dot net with Gary Small. We'll go out with this one, uh, last words regarding in life and in spirit. Indeed, indeed. I, I co-wrote that. This is the only song I've ever co-wrote with co-wrote with anybody, uh, mm -hmm. with Jimmy Lang uh, on, on keyboards. All right. Gary Small and the Coyote Brothers in life and spirit. Thanks so much.